Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org, and today we are doing a groundwater experiment, which is found in the book Earth and Space by Bright Ideas Press, which we're using for our science this year. In the book, uh, they provide a diagram, and in this diagram, you have um, uh, raining, the, the clouds are raining down on these rocks, and so you have infiltration of water into that permeable rock. Permeable rock is rock that can absorb water. Impermeable rock is rock that cannot absorb water. And then you have this water table, which is an invisible line where uh, the water is saturating the rock and cannot go any further. So this is this particular um, diagram, okay? Uh, so now we're going to do this experiment uh, to show you uh, how groundwater works and how it, uh, rain, when it rains, it goes under the ground and um, collects, okay? So, uh, in the, you're, you will need two glasses, you will need some um, gravel or pebbles uh, that you can get at a uh, pet store for, um, these are good, uh, that you can find for for your uh, fish tanks, okay? And then you have um, these uh, sand, sand, okay, and water, all right? So what we're doing is we are going to start by making um, thicker uh, levels of pebbles, okay? So this one's going to have thicker layers of pebbles, and then this one is going to have thin layer of pebbles, okay? So, thicker layer, let's make thicker layer, and a thinner layer, okay? And then you want to kind of shake it so that it uh, settles in a nice, um, a nice level way, okay? Then you can get sand, and you put that in, so we have a thin layer for this one, okay? And then a thicker layer for this one. So let's do two for this. Okay. Almost two. Okay, so, and now it does kind of go over the rock, so don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, and yeah, don't shake it too much. Okay. So, there's a thin layer here. Very thin. And then there's a thicker layer here. Okay, you can just kind of Pour it like this. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. And then we have our sand, thin sand for this. Okay, which I'm trying to not do too, too much. Okay, and for this one you need a thicker layer. Okay, see, this one you can hardly see the pebbles, but there is a dividing line of pebbles between the, that layer and the other layer. Okay, so, and we have thick pebbles here, nice and thick. All right, and then we have thinner. Okay, so a thin Thin layer for here, all right, and we have a thick, thick layer for that, okay, and then we have another thin layer for here, and we have a thick layer for here. Okay, so you end with the pebbles. Okay, so hopefully you can see the delineation between there if it kind of, yeah, you can. Okay, see, this is a very thin layer and mostly it's a, a, a thick layer of um, sand in this one. And then this one has lots of pebbles and then a tiny thin thing of sand, which, um, see, so you can kind of see it better on this side. Okay, so, okay, so here are the two jars. Now, all right, so we're creating an aquifer. An aquifer is a place 
where uh, water collects under the ground and slowly pour water into one of the filled glasses and notice the water moving through the crack. So you want to get a close up of this particular jar and I'm going to fill it up to the top. So here it's raining and you will see it permeating. You see how it's permeating that okay until it's saturated. You see how the the water is at the top here and the water is going down into the um, going past the pebbles past the sand to the bottom so it's becoming saturated okay so the jar is impermeable rock whereas the pebbles in the sand are definitely permeable okay uh, so you can have water between those Okay, so the second glass, we want to stop about one inch below the top of the aquifer. So we're going to maybe pour half, okay? So we'll pour half and then, let's see, pour to half. All right, see how it's sinking down into there? And then notice the level of the water. Okay, so it's still sinking down into there. So just pretend that it's raining and then the water is just sinking in to the, um, uh, all those layers of the soil and the dirt. Okay, so this one actually is taking longer to penetrate and it's because um, it has fewer pebbles than this one. The pebbles are actually allow the water to go through them a lot faster. Now we have very uh, thin uh, sand. We don't have uh, thicker sand so that also affects it. Okay. Okay, so the water table is right up here for this one and right up here for this one. Okay, so the water table is the imaginary line um, beyond which no uh, water can actually permeate because it's completely permeated under that area. So as you can see from the diagram, the, the water table rises uh, depending on how saturated the ground is. So this is saturated, saturated, saturated. So the water table is here because you could still pour more water into the top. So it's not saturated right up here. So this is the level that is the water table right now. Okay, so that's what the water table is. So uh, the last thing is recharging. So we are recharging the groundwater by adding more water. Okay, so we're adding more water to this and see how we are recharging that groundwater by adding more water from precipitation or rain. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching our groundwater experiment.